Good evening. Thanks for joining us and welcome to the 5 o'clock news. I'm Camilla Ortiz. Across the country, consumers are seeing empty shelves at grocery stores, something we haven't seen since the beginning of the pandemic. But this time, it's not due to panic buying. Fox 12's Connor McCarthy is live in southeast Portland to tell us what's behind it and why local grocery stores like co-ops still have their shelves stocked. Connor? Well, Camilla, some Oregonians are seeing emptier shelves at their local grocery store, but it's not as bad as other people are seeing around the country. Now, I spoke to one co-op, actually, this one right here in southeast Portland, and they tell me that this supply chain issue should be a, a reminder to the public to start buying local. Images of empty grocery store shelves are grabbing national headlines. Bad weather, labor shortages, and the Omicron variant are contributing to these scenes. But here in Oregon, grocery stores aren't experiencing aisles of empty shelves, especially when you buy local. Like our local vendors, you know, they come here every single week and, you know, bring us all the stuff, we, we all of our local staples. Gabby DeLeon is the marketing and design manager for People's Food Co-op in Southeast Portland. She says since her store buys mainly from local farmers and producers, they can cut out the middleman. I mean, it's basically like the farmers come here. The person who makes it like comes here. And we have those like close relationships with, with our vendors. Nick Townsend, a buyer at People's Food Co-op, says they're still being impacted by the supply chain, but mainly from larger suppliers who are having trouble finding truck drivers. But even with that, his store is able to stay pretty well stocked. I think that part of what makes a co-op more resilient to something like this is that we're working with distributors who pay their people well and who respect their employees and we respect the people who work here as well. And so I think that if you are buying at places that are um, you know, practicing good labor practices, I think you're going to experience less um, supply shortage issues. Town said says it's that mixed with close relationships with local farmers, co-ops and other local grocery stores are able to weather this labor shortage that's been enhanced by workers getting sick with the Omicron variant. Like a lot of my vendors I have a personal relationship with, they have a second job or they have a delivery route that they're doing themselves. And, um, you know, I can just text them and be like, hey, is this going to come by today? And so I know exactly where my supply chain is beginning and ending, which makes it a lot easier to keep things on the shelf. Well, Camilla DeLeon says if you don't see something in your local grocery store, check out your local farmer's market. She also says, you know, buying local also puts that money back into the Oregon economy. Now, I also reached out to Fred Meyer, Zunaps, and Market of Choice to see exactly what's going on inside their grocery stores, but I haven't heard back. Live in Southeast Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon.